hi guys welcome back welcome back to my channel so god brooks is being sued by his former makeup artist who claims he all worded her in a hotel room garth brooks is a huge a huge household name in country music the makeup artist claims that Garth Brooks cornered her in a hotel suite and all worded her so violently. She felt like he was going to break her body in two. She says she was Garth Brooks' wife, Trisha Yearwood's makeup artist and hairstylist for years before Garth Brooks hired her to work for him in the same role. In the lawsuit, she claims, in May 2019, Garb Brooke took her with him to Los Angeles for a Grammy tribute to Sam Moore, but when she boarded his private plane in Nashville, she noticed they were the only ones traveling, which was unusual. She claims when they got to LA, she found out Garth had only rented one hotel room for the both of them and he denied her request for her own room. She says, God suddenly appeared in the doorway completely naked and dragged her onto a bed in another room where he overpowered her and all worded her. He held her five foot frame by her ankles and dangled her upside down as he penetrated her, you know, slamming whoa his you know what inside her so hard she felt as if she were breaking in two she claims after the all word it was business as usual and she did god's hair and makeup for the event she says she was dealing with financial hardships and needed the work and goth preyed on her financial situation she also claims she was at God's home one day in 2019 waiting to do his makeup when he came out the shower naked and with an erection. She says he pointed his erect, you know, at her, walked over, grabbed her hands and put them on his, you know, what, and told her he fantasized about her giving him oral mm -hmm, with her glasses on so he could eat on her face okay this is very graphic and it's my first time reading this so that's why you're hearing my true live reaction so she claims this incident happened before the alleged r word which she says was painful and dramatic i'm sorry traumatic she also says God would often fondle her breasts while she was doing his hair and makeup, even though she told him not to, it would master, yeah, afterwards. Wait, wait, hold up. Let me read this again. She also says God would often fondle her breasts while she was doing his hair and makeup, even though she told him not to. He would master afterwards. The woman is going after God for damages. Okay, so this incident happened first before the alleged all wording, right? So first, he would often fondle her breasts while doing his makeup and hair and then master afterwards. And she didn't stop that. Okay. And then he would come out the shower. In 2019, he came out the shower naked with an erect. And he walked over to her, grabbed her hands, and put it on his you-know-what. And make her, you know, so he could you know, on her face. Okay, this is, no, I'm calling BS. So, first, he would often fondle her breasts while she's doing his makeup and hair. And then he would master afterwards. And then she never stopped that. And then he would get out the shower naked, make her, you know, 
and she didn't stop that either, right? After all of that, he took her with him to Los Angeles for a Grammy tribute on his private plane. And she is shocked that he only booked one hotel room. Look at all these things that was happening prior to that. Come on. So, uh, I'm sorry. I believe all our word victims, I do. I believe them first until proven otherwise. But this, I'm sorry. This is BS. You know he's married. She knew he was married. She was his wife. Makeup artist. She was Trish. Makeup artist and hairstylist first. For years. And then he hired her to do his makeup and his hair. So the first time he fondled her and was doing all these things to her, she never stopped it because, oh, I needed the money. He knew about my financial situation. So you're going to allow yourself to be sexually assaulted over and over for money? So how do we know now you're not just regretting all these things? I, it just doesn't make sense. You allowed all these things to happen. All these things. And then you were being assaulted. Sexually assaulted. Over and over and over. And then now you guys went to Nashville. And that's when it happened. That's when he all worded you and dragged you. Any other time. He didn't have to force you. He just put his your hands on his thing and you did what you needed to do. But this time, he had to drag you to another room to all word you. I'm sorry. I feel like this was a full-blown affair because, you know, he's married to Trish Yearwood. So this was a full-blown affair. And it ended, and she's not regretting it because she has nothing to show for it. She's probably looking back and like, I slept with this huge, huge country star, and I have nothing to show for it. Or maybe Trish found out, so now she wants to like, oh, let me call it. All word. It's just, it's just not adding up. I'm tired of women abusing the all word. That's why real victims sometimes, they, you know, people don't believe them. Because of women like her. Like this makeup artist. You don't allow yourself to be sexually assaulted over and over and over. Because, oh, I want to keep my job. As if she could not go and find other artists to work for. Or regular people to work for. I'm, I'm just sick of it. It's just like, come on. Come on. Like you working and he's funneling your breasts. And then doing all these things afterward. This guy felt like he could come out the shower, put your hands on his thing, and you still didn't stop it. Had she stopped it the first time he tried her when he fondled her breasts while she was doing his makeup and his hair? I mean, come on. When are we going to stop using money as a way to be victimized? Come on. There are thousands of artists she could have worked for. Or regular people. Or get another job. At least you walk away with your dignity, with your self-respect. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Enough is enough. Like, seriously. Grown women. The first time he touched her like that, she should have said, Listen, I'm going to tell your wife. That would have stopped him. That would have stopped him cold. And if he fired her or said, Oh, I don't need you anymore. Okay. Okay, who the hell you think you are? Who you think you are? 
you know, walk away. But no. Oh, I'm getting angry. I am because it's just like all these things. It's not just one time and then you're like, but it's like all these often. It happened often, often, often. And then it went further and further. It just kept getting worse, right? It, it just kept getting worse. It went from funneling to master afterward to him coming at the shower and then making her, you know, on her face and everything. And then the plane to Nashville, the hotel room, and he dragged her to all word her in another room at a hotel. Yes, and you could scream. You could scream. There are other people in the other rooms. Okay? They would hear you somehow. Oh, you know what? Fine. Then go to the police afterward. Okay, you allowed this foolish stuff to happen for a very long time. But then when he did all word you and all that, that should have been like, okay, you know what? I mean, that should have never happened. You should have stopped it a long time ago, the first time he even put his hand on your breast. But no. But okay, fine. Let's just, fine, let's just let all that go. But then when he did that at the hotel, and you still didn't go to the police and file a police report, uh, whatever. I'm getting worked up over this. I really am. It's just foolish. Like, the first time he touched you, you should have put an end to it or threatened to tell Trish. He would have stopped. He would have stopped. And if you must walk away, then walk away. At least you're walking away with your pride, with your, I mean, with your dignity, with your self-respect. And then you could find another celebrity to do their makeup because these celebrities, they need makeup. They need makeup. A makeup artist... And a hairstylist will never run out of business. They will always have a job. So they always need makeup artists. They always need makeup artists. Always. So I don't know if I'm buying this. Has she stopped it from the beginning or threatened to tell Trish he would have stopped? And if he let her go? So be it. So what? Like, who do you think you are? At least you walk away with your dignity. You know? So, anyway, Godbrook has since denied the allegations. He issued this following statement. For the last two months, I have been hassled to no end with threats, lies, and tragic tales of what my future would be if I did not write a check for many millions of dollars. It has been like having a loaded G-U-N waved in my face. Hush money. No matter how much or how little, it's still hush money. In my mind, that means I am admitting to behavior I am incapable of. Ugly acts no human should ever do to another. We filed suit against this person nearly a month ago to speak out against extortion and defamation of character. We filed it anonymously for the sake of families on both sides. I want to play music tonight. I want to continue our good deeds going forward. It breaks my heart. These wonderful things are in question now. I trust the system. I do not fear the truth, and I am not the man they have painted me to be. That's Garth Brooks' statement. Um, so, yeah, so he said for the last two months, she was harassing him with lies and threats, and she wanted him to write her a big check for many millions of dollars. So, I don't know, but... Before I read this statement, I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was an affair and it ended and she just want money and with everything that's going on, people are coming out. So I feel like she's like, okay, let me get in this because it's just like, come on, you allow all these things to happen. He's 
while you're doing his makeup, he's funneling your breasts. He's master. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he would come out the shower and have you, you know, do all that to him. And then you go to the hotel. You notice that he was he booked a room just for you and him. And then you still stayed. You didn't go out and get your own room. You didn't say, no, I'm, I don't know. It's just, it's just like enough is enough. Like, when are we going to just stop? Like, okay, I'm going to just all, allow all these things to happen because it's a, a celebrity. Had it been a regular man, I wonder would she, you know, have, like, continued and allow it to happen? I don't know. If it was, like, a regular person who was not a celebrity, I bet you she could, I don't know. She would have stopped that a long time ago and put that man in his place. But he's a celebrity, so I'm going to allow it to happen. I'm going to allow it to happen so then later on I can say, oh, yeah, he did this to me. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that it was an affair and she wants to use the R word now. That's all I'm getting. But that's all, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And big shout out to all my new subscribers. Hey, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.